All right, one more video. This is probably the most important one for coordinate systems. I'm going to show you what not to do. This is the by far the most common mistake all GIS students um, make. And so I'm going to show you what's wrong and why this doesn't work. And so I hope that I never see this again. So watch this video and then don't do this. All right. So on the right here, I've got uh, my states, and uh, it's, it's labeled uh, Lambert Conformal Conic Nat 83. I'm going to right click on the data frame, go to the coordinate systems here, and confirm that yes, this is USA continuous, contiguous Lambert Conformal Conic. Uh, and I see the Nat 83 there. All right, so that's what I want all of my data in. Now, over here, I have another states file that I'm going to try to get to line up with that one. Now, it looks a little bit different. Uh, I see some numbers down here at the bottom. So it def definitely looks like it's in a geographic coordinate system. And I could right click on its properties and find out that yes, it's in a geographic coordinate system. Geographic coordinate system in NAD, NAD 83. All right. Now, this is what most people do if they want these to line up. They think, all right, I'm going to go in here and just change this. I'm going to go to this properties. And instead of GCS NAD 83, I want it to be Lambert Conformal Conic. And so they go into Select and they find Lambert Conformal Conic. All right, there's Lambert Conformal Conic. Say OK. And Arc will let you do this. All right, so now you think it's Lambert Conformal Conic and that you can bring it over into ArcMap and this will all line up. And it doesn't. Turn that off, and there's no states. And it's not clear for most students why that's a mistake. Well, let's talk about what happened there, why that didn't line up. You can think about this as being apples and oranges. Lambert conformal conic is an orange. States geographic coordinate system 983 is an apple. And ARC's got some fancy stuff, a projection tool that will turn an apple into an orange. But when you went into properties and you changed this from geographic coordinate systems, NAT83, um, you took the label off the apple and you put an orange label on there, but you didn't change it from an apple into an orange. All this does is label. This is called defining the projection. It doesn't change the underlying coordinates whatsoever. So if I go back and I look at the coordinates here, they're still at the bottom. Um, I can see that they're still in latitude and longitude. Uh, so even though I've labeled it Lambert conformal conic, it's not. It didn't change anything on the hard drive. So this is a mistake. I've labeled this incorrectly. I've labeled an apple and orange when it's not. So I need to go back and I need to switch this back to what it was. Go back. Change it back to geographic coordinate systems, NAT83. All right, now I've labeled an apple an apple. That's in use over here, so I need to get rid of it. Let's see if it'll let me do it now. All right, so now it's labeled correctly. So I have two options to correctly put it into this other map. I can bring it over there, bring it over here, and it'll do a reproject on the fly, and that would work because it'll it'll do the underlying coordinate transformation, the projection, to convert it from geographic into Lambert conformal conic. Or I could go up to my tools, and I could use the project tool, like we did last in one of the earlier videos. Both those are the correct way to get the coordinate systems to line up. All right, so you know now. The biggest mistake that most GIS students make, so don't do it. All right.